man put on last week. Short, deep, intermediate. He made all the throws. And he had the yards to prove it, not to mention the win. He's against the Saints. Thank you very much, Larry. As usual, the streets in the nearby French Quarter are alive as we are in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tennessee Titans and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it. one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down Charles they won last week despite him not running the ball well they told us need to get him going runs like that help and they talked to us about leaning on him because as you noted last week they didn't have to still won the ball game they leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed but they really want him to be that guy and that's what they're doing early in this game Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, Wade flushed out right. He finds Taylor, complete. Holding offense. So a decent gain, Still but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So 20 yards to go here on first down. Looking to throw. Wade fighting through pressure. Escaping the pressure right. Eluding the pressure right. And then eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. To throw on second down. Wade, flush to his right. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard at the 44-yard line. On third and two, Wade dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. It's lining up first and ten. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. 
William Golston in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Looking to throw on second down. Wayne escaping the pressure right. And he finds Corey Davis. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first and ten, Wayne steps away to his left. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. To throw on second down, Wayne. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Back to throw. Wade. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. From the gun, Wade. And some strong running. Forced out to his left. And some room to roam now. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. The decision to go for it pays off. And now they're set up first and goal. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. Looking to throw. Wade polluting the pressure right. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Nick Fairley able to run him down for a loss of a yard. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. We'll head back to New Orleans after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Back to throw. Wade. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. I think that's a good job there defensively. comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, 
bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Looking to throw. Wayne uncorks one for Davis. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it. Couldn't get it. And it's second down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover. Bat it free. Treads the tackle. Buying time to his left. Being chased out left. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Now they'll run. Murray. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That almost felt like the defense said, he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. Fighting him off, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Offense on third down, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Back to throw. Wade, this will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put him through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> to the air on second down. Wade. Throw left side complete to Sharp. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have the highlights of this first half, but he won't have touchdowns because we haven't had any to this point. But there's still time, though, partner. Looking to throw on second down. Wade. Yeah, he's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Operating from the gun. Wayne. And they're going to get to him. A sack. 
sacked back at the nine-yard line. Zach Cunningham coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. To throw on second down, Wade. And he finds a man with a crossing route. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front They've buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. From the gun on third down, Wade. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Throwing on first down. Wade looking middle, and it's incomplete. Johnny Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And now it's second down. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Kill, kill, kill. To throw again, Wayne. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively. The Titans offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Him go! And all the way down to the 26. A big play that time for the Titans. 48 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody has that ability, they want them on their team. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. Looking to throw. Wayne. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver there was Jonu Smith, and that'll bring up second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Looking to throw on second down. Wayne dancing to his left. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. It's their quarterback. Touchdown number 18 of the year. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing. 
The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. And I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Throwing again on second and 10. Wade, flush to his right. It's caught by Davis. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On first down, Wade. Oh, now he bowls him over. And he slides to avoid the hit. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll make it a second down. To throw on second down, Wade. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Smith. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. On first and ten, Wade steps away to his left. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. And now running right through it. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, We'll step aside. And let's see what the defensive coordinator may have up his sleeve here to try to get this final last stand and win this football game. Looking to throw on second down. Wade forced out to his left. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Back to throw. Wade. This is caught, and he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Jonu Smith, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now. Just salt it away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off. And, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. 
And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Looking to throw. Wade. Buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And the Saints signal for another timeout. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. To throw on second down. Wade. A short game was all he needed. He gets across the chalk for six. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you... And the Titans getting set to go. Only one timeout defensively, so this should just be a simple kneel down. I agree totally. I looked at my time management chart. It says, take a knee, victory formation. They just have one timeout left, and that should be all, all she wrote. By the way, it's a good thing you can read that because nobody else can. <laughs> not with my chicken scratch, not at all. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Looking to throw on second down. Wade being chased out left. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Who's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Sheldon Rankins in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Titans, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. and two. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, they can't quite seem to turn things around. Catch your breath. 